and a Catholic priest of Kaduna Archdiocese has called on Nigerians, religious and political leaders to embrace leadership style of service to humanity above personal interest for the growth and development of the nation. The priest says a transformative leadership style and good governance promote peace, unity and nation building in a democratic system of country with diverse ethnicity. The Catholic priest made the call at the 13th priestly anniversary at St. Paul Catholic Church on Gua, Kaduna State. Reverend Father Joshua Acher said Nigeria is going through a lot of leadership challenges, noting patriotic leaders who have the nation at heart not for personal gains while thanking God for their broken service. The political uh, leaders, in spite of the challenges that we face as a nation and as a people, first is that uh, there is nowhere you don't find challenges, uh, difficulties and problems. can change our approach to the way we see problems, to the way we see certain situations. I think uh, if we do the better uh, for us, things are the way they are, but there is something that we can do to correct the dark areas. There is something that we can do to ensure that you know, our little contribution amounts to much at the end. The journey has not been easy, but God has been helping. And I'm happy that I have a priest. 13 years. It's not 13 days. It is not 13 months, but 13 solid years. Unbroken years. I'm grateful. He appealed to Nigerians to follow leaders with integrity and good track records for selfless service to humanity, not for religious or any other gains. Followers should know that uh, it is good to follow well uh, because sometimes when we have leaders who try their best, we try to sabotage their efforts. That is not a good thing to do. If you are a follower, follow well, especially where a leader is trying his or her own best to contribute his or her own quarter to the growth of the human person, the development of the human person and the society at large. Ours is to support them, to pray for them, and see that we follow well, so that the goals for which they have been appointed will be realized. Also, the guest speaker, Reverend Father Rafael Diga, emphasized the need for steadward leadership, stressing that leaders must be transparent and accountable to the people and respect to general interest of the nation. So leaders should learn how to be sacrificial and then look to the needs of uh, the less privileged leaders are beginning to see what is happening, especially what is happening in Kenya. We should learn from uh, Nigeria so that tomorrow it will not repeat itself. And the maybe anybody who is appointed a leader is because of trust. If people trust you with a mandate, you must leave it out. You must bring out those mandates to be able to make sure that, yes, they trust you and also believe in you. But if you don't do that, certainly the, when, once the, 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 the confidence and hope is lost, you cannot regain it again. Yeah, in fact, it's supposed to be in the life of the people in Kaduna, not just the Christians, but also the other faith and uh, the elderly, the women, the youth. If you not relent and uh, with prayers and with God with him, everything will fall.